Oh no, no, no. No, no. Water does not seem to- Oh shoot! Oh shoot! What the fuck? What happened? Why are those guys on fire? Why are they chasing me on fire? Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Place Glide, episode number four. I do apologize for episode number three ending so impromptu last time around. But as we all saw, there was no way for me to get through to save these fox people. Essentially, what needed to happen was I needed to reload an older save. I did that. That didn't work. Then I reloaded a save before that. That didn't work out. So I ended up having to just restart the game all over again and kind of get myself back to this point. I do have a little bit of good news for you in that I actually took some time to do this, which is going to be experiments. As you can see, I actually have the head, the fire wooden head unlocked now, and I also have the fire wooden legs unlocked too. And we're kind of close to getting the hand unlocked, and at level 9 we get the body one. So we'll have the fire wooden Goliath here pretty soon. So that is at least a little bit of an upside for the, you know, sudden end of the last episode. But for now, let's get underway and uh, talk to old Mr. Foxman. Remember this guy? Oh, go away, I'm busy right now. It's like, oh, you're busy dying to the trees, huh? Is that what you're busy doing? Anyway, Fent is the red. What's going on, dog? Whew, that was getting hot. I'm sure lucky you happened along in your fireproof stone pants. How did you find me, stone pants? Do not call me stone pants, my friend. Well, actually, <laughs> it's a couple of big stones in these pants, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, okay, no, I'm not going to talk to you about my testicles, fox man. Uh, well, my name is actually... Never mind. Stone pants is fine. Okay, so, I'm not from this world, and a friend told me that you might know a way to get home. Home? Ah, yes, the world your your char chipped off of far away long ago. Yes, yes. This idea has passed into legend for my people. Most are happy enough where they are so they consider this to be just a story. But I know better. I know a way to do this home you speak of. In happier times, I would help you freely, Stone Pants, but these are not happy times for the foxes. Why not? The rats claim to have a terrible weapon capable of wiping out the entire Forest Brotherhood in an instant, Stone Pants. They call it the Double Orbiter. We know nothing about it at all, except where it is kept. A locked black chest deep within the rat's compound. And someone who seems to be the ally of the rats, like you, might be able to get inside and find out what they are planning. What do you mean the ally of the rats? I'm not an ally to the rats, dog. I, I actually stole from them in the first episode. I, I got into the little forest and I stole and I ran. Anyway. I see, cloak and dagger type stuff. I like it, but I'm just another I'm just another stranger to them. Why would they let me in? The Forest Brotherhood and the Vermafia are lifelong enemies. <laughs> They're called the Vermafia. The you get it, Vermints? Vermafia. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. It's so stupid and corny that it's good. You know, it's like yo, you go into like such bad territory that it turns good. That's what that is. It's like one of those terrible puns that I make all the time. And we know much about the other. This beautiful amulet I wear is one of a kind and signifies that I am the leader of the Brotherhood. If you bring it to them and say that you have killed me in single combat, they will recognize you and may believe you. Ooh, this guy is kind of smart. Alright, I'll do it. Grr, lie, steal, insult, look out rats, here I come. Forget it, Fox Boss, I can't lie, I'm just too good of a per- Come on, anytime, I can fucking lie easily. I'll take him, I'll take that shit and tell him that I killed you. Oh, you think I have a problem with that, huh? I claim I killed a fox? No, nah, no. Nah. Unless it's the fox from, like, you know, that Disney movie. That I forgot. <laughs> Lady... No, it's not Lady and the Tramp. Lady and the Tramp is about a couple of dogs, Falcon. The the fox and the... The fox and the hound. It's the fox and the hound, right? Is that what it is? It should be that. Anyway, that type of fox I can't kill. That broke my heart. That was, uh... What, fucking all these old school Disney movies just break my heart all the time, man. Not only just Disney movies, I mean, Land Before Time was in a uh, Disney movie, and that's just like, you know, forever and ever and ever in the feels. Speaking of which, excuse me. Hey, you mind, um, fucking off from my area? Yeah. Look, look, animals and monsters in this world. We have an agreement. You never come into the little obelisk area, okay? This is my safe haven. You guys don't just wander in here and be like, oh, how you doing, Falcon? No, don't you hey, how you doing, Falcon, me. This is my area. You guys have an entire map for yourselves out there. So you're probably wondering who this guy is over here, Zorg. This guy was actually locked up along with the fox in the Troll Village. So uh, again, on the playback that I did to get back to this point, uh, I saved the fox as usual uh, with the whole friendly route with the trolls. So I'm, I'm cool with the trolls still. And then this guy was in there locked up behind some sort of big wildcat animal from the snow that we saw all the time. I killed him, I freed him, and apparently he joined my cause. So, I guess when you talk to him, he'll come along with you, and he will fight alongside of you in missions, so... I don't know, we'll check it out here pretty soon, though. 
Uh, for now, though, let's see. Let's see. Talk to the bandit, right? So we have to probably go to another world. Is what I would figure. Um, before we do that, though, let me show you what we can build at the moment. Let me uh, teach you how to Dougie. Let's see. <clears throat> we could actually build a laboratory now because, I, as I mentioned, I was doing a lot of um, resource gathering off camera. Uh, we could do a, build a laboratory and we could also make the weapon construction. I think we go ahead and make weapon construction first. There it is. Ooh, we're going to make our own weapons here pretty soon. And we could also make the laboratory as well. Um, the next one's going to require level 12, so we're three levels away, not too bad. Um, we could also make the last... Gar... gar <laughs> is it garage? I could make, we could also make the last garage. Uh, I forgot, I, I think garage is like a European thing. I was watching some movie and they were calling it the garage, and like, garage? And I was kind of like, at first, like, what are they talking about? I was like, oh, garage, right. Sorry, silly, sorry, silly falcon. Not the entire world doesn't speak American English like you, 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 American scumbag. Um, let's see, laboratory. Upgrade for new potions. Ooh. Ten chitin? We have fourteen. Yeah, sure, why not? Make the laboratory as well. Let's get us uh, a little bit of um, cool stuff happening here in a little quote-unquote home base. And finally, let's make the last stone block, because why not? Okay, cool. So, uh, not the last stone block, but the last gar the last garage, as we're calling it now. Um, Alright, cool. So, let's um, find out what we can do with the weapon station. Ooh, uh, my stone guy could use the barbarian stone axe. Requires bones. Good thing I've been collecting those bones, huh? And he could also make the Mace of Pain. <laughs> I like that a lot. The Mace of Pain. It really hurts. 34 damage, 2% stun chance. What is this one? 34 damage. Strong attack can stun enemies with 2% chance and crit 3. So they're basically the same thing, just um, they have the same effects, really. Frozen Mace. Freeze enemies with a 10% chance. Ooh. Ooh, I like this one a lot more, to be honest with you. So we might just make that now. Oh, there's Alchemy, too. Mortar bomb. Oh shit, son. This is getting crazy over here. Bronze bars requires bronze ore and coals. Hey, we could make a couple of these. Why not? Um, boom, boom, boom. There you go. Just like, have a couple of them ready to go. Restoration oil gradually restores your Goliath. Coals and gems. Wow, this one's a lot easier to make too. Coals really easy to come by. Mortar bomb. I've actually been using some dynamites, or not dynamites, but mines for my enemies, and they work out really well. We'll probably be using those here pretty soon. Okay, cool. So... We haven't made this, right? Let's go ahead and make the, the frozen mace for my stone guy. And then for wooden man? Oh, I can't make the club of coolness now. <laughs> that would have been so cool. What are you rocking there? I'm just rocking the old club of coolness. Uh, you, you, you gotta be a certain amount of cool to actually make this happen. Do we make him a sword or a club? 22 damage, 2%. 26 damage. Ooh, the wooden club's a lot better. And the fiery catapult, which I already have. So let's make the wooden club for our boy over here, and that's cool. Um, let's save this one for later and use up the shitty one first, you know? Because they all have, like, a degra like degradation value. So for now, equip that. Good. And we cannot equip a launcher for you. We have no launchers for you. Okay, cool. And then for you, my friend, let's give you the old mythical wooden club. Yeah! All right. And we have an extra amazing fiery catapult as well, just in case for you, after you're done with that one. Okay, cool. So, um, we have some repair kits as well. Everything looks pretty good. I'm gonna make a couple of more, I'm curious. I'm gonna make a medium one. A couple of, uh, one more medium one. Small ones. Chit. Uh, yeah, sure. You know what? Go ahead and craft that. Okay, cool. I'm feeling good. We've done some good stuff here. Let's, um, continue our journey now. Uh, that's not how you continue with the journey, Falcon. You don't jump into the fire. You're not that metal, my friend. Man, there's a lot of worlds in this game, huh? So, like, I mean, we've all, we've gone through these small, little small ones here, but then, like, all the rest of the areas are maps, too. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. More importantly, um, uh, spiders. Okay, cool. That's not too bad. Uh, more importantly, I do need to kill a couple of... Ooh, look at this fucking mace! I just realized the mace that we have on hand. Oh, oh, oh my god. More importantly, though, I need to kill a couple of more small critters with, uh, my fiery catapult. Is that gonna happen? Yeah. So luckily, the, the bird dudes die like in two hits with oh, three hits for that guy. <laughs> oh, here they come, they're all mad. No, look at the baby one! The baby one's like, how dare you do that to my poppy? Look guys, it's fine. You guys just respawn all the time anyway. It doesn't really matter now, does it? Well, you just fucking like literally, you, you, the moment I kill you guys, you're reborn from those eggs. You have a pretty good deal happening here. Let's see, how many more do I need to kill? We need to kill. Uh, two more! Oh, guys, we're about to actually make the fire one. I say before we leave here, we make the fire one. Because all I need is, like, one extra kill. 
No, a little guy, you ruined it. Well, there we go, we got it. Anybody, anybody want any fried chicken? <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop. So, let's see. Everything's unlocked, cool. Let's go ahead and make our, our fire wooden golem. Or goliath, I should say. I requires 157 logs, or 8 logs out of 157. Yeah, we have everything. Craft it. Craft a fire golem. Yeah. You, we did craft fire guy, right? <clears throat> you do have... Ooh, we've unlocked the third one. I've never seen that one. This was not in a demo for me, so I'm not sure what this is going to look like. Look at this guy. He's like a fucking pyromaniac. <laughs> this is kind of awesome. We did craft him, right? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't screw something up here, right? Because... Uh, yeah, stone. This is a wooden variety. Because, let's see, this is um, Old Buddy, right? This is... The legs look... The legs are supposed to be, like, darker. Did I somehow... I feel like I somehow screwed this up. Hold on. Let me park quote-unquote fire guy here. Let me come back over here. <clears throat> let's see. Oh, that's what I... That's the problem. Uh, you're supposed to individually put the parts in there. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Deconstruct a life. Ooh, you can deconstruct guys now, too. This was not a possibility before, I don't think. Um, Alright, so let's see, let's see, let's see. They've added that from the update. I think people were asking for that in the forum, so they finally added. Cool developers. Uh, let's see here. So, I need to... Let's see. Let's see. So head needs to be that one, right? Body. Okay, here we go. So this is where I messed up. You're supposed to move or change the thing in the little context menu here. There you go. So now everything's. This is what it's supposed to look like. Luckily, we have all the items for it. It's not a big deal. So, ho ho ho! There we go. Now it's a real fire one. You probably do better now in the desert world too, right? I wonder what your natural ability is going to be. Maybe the same one still? Who knows? But hey, we got this guy now, which is cool. Now, what I'm going to do is we have a, an extra fiery paddle, a catapult, don't we? Yeah, we do. Yes, we absolutely do. Equip this. And we also have a... You can't... Can you use it? This is for a stone guy. Let's make you a quick weapon here if we can. Weapon station. A wooden one. We will give you also the wooden club. That's good enough. And... There it is. We are so set up and ready to go. Alrighty. Let's um, roll with the fire guy for one, huh? And you know what, Zorg? Come along. Drog is a great hunter. Drog can exchange his trophies with you if you are hunter too. I can prove it. New quest, superior hunter. Oh, you want me to do a quest? Um, well, you know what? That's not really... Uh, we'll do that later. I got some bigger fish to fry at the moment. Jesus, these little guys took care of that spider on their own. How about that? Oh, fuck. There's a lot of spiders there. I'm gonna ignore you guys for now. Here is where we're supposed to be going, no? It does seem. Or maybe through here. Uh, this looks really, really fishy. Military crates. What the hell is going on with your... Oh, that guy's training over there. Would you mind if I steal your... <laughs> Apparently your dynamite and shit? <laughs> Don't mind me. Just stealing your dynamite. I'm in your base. Stealing your stuff. <laughs> Okay, well, I just walked through there. Oh, okay. Oh my god, what do you- you guys are playing with the casino? How do you guys have this? Then again, this is a world that apparently... Hey, I won. This is a world that apparently sucks everything else from other worlds into, like, its own little world here. It's kind of really hard to describe. But well, we saw it in the intro. It's kind of weird. Alright. This is Scree the Sentry. Halt intruder! Hmm, a human, is it? What is your business here at the rat nest? Let me give him like a really creeper voice, because that's what rats are supposed to sound like, really creeper-like. Let me do that again. Halt intruder. Hmm, a human, is it? What is your business here at the rat nest? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what the thing at the end was. Apparently he's also fucking Hannibal Lecter now. Ahem, uh, what's it to you, sentry? I don't talk with underlings. I want the big boss. Big boss? He and I have big things to discuss. Uh, nothing. I just remember that. No, no, we go with this, the first one. Eh? Well, I, er... Uh, listen, I'll let you in on a little secret. I am the boss. I'm just doing some checking up on all the other rats. Making sure they're not stealing my stuff or making deals with the enemy. So yeah, that's me, the boss. What do you got? Alright, seems plausible. Here's the thing, big boss. I know you have a problem with the foxes. I have a problem with them, too. Until I kill their leader. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Well, you killed the leader of, uh... Oh, I mean... Big deal. He wasn't really that tough or smart or noble or anything. Anyone could do it. Well, anyone didn't do it. I did. And I want to make a deal. We can wipe out the foxes together, and we can power up your weapon, the Double Orbiter. Huh? What do you know about the Double Orbiter? Do you know what it's, uh, uh, I mean, that all depends. You're going to have to prove to us your loyalty if you want to help the, from the rats. We have three quests that give you to be undertaken. 
They're super easy and not dangerous. I do them myself, but I have to guard this post uh, by choice because I'm the leader. All right, what do you got? I am suspiciously. Let's go with the second one. I want something for me too. You know what's in it for you? The final destruction of the foxes and the eternal gratitude of loyalty of the rats. That's there is worth its weight in gold. You know, it's actually interesting because like the game has told me a lot of times now that faction, you, how you go with other factions it affects the game overall. I mean, I'm cool with the foxes for now, maybe kind of the trolls. What if I betray the fox and go with the rats instead? I might consider it. We'll see. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is to come in and find Scubs the Junk Dealer. He's got um uh, a super easy and not at all dangerous mission for you to do. Narrows eyes and curl lips up. Fine. Alrighty, so, man, new quest, Mafia Forever. I kind of like that. Earn the trust of the Stalkers, earn the trust of Bootleggers, and earn the trust of Raiders. Okay, these will probably be, like, all, like, little sub-crews of the, the Mafia. This guy, by the way, sounds really fishy. I don't really believe what he's talking, what he's over here trying to sell me. Can I go into the water with, um, Fire Dude? Oh, no, no, no. No, no. Water does not seem to- Oh, you! Oh, you! What the fuck? What happened? Why are those guys on fire? Why are they chasing me on fire? With getting close, does, does that happen with the golden golem? That the, the closer I get to people, they just combust? If that if that's the case, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, it is the case! I just walked by the spider and he caught on fire. No! I'm sorry! I wasn't aware of my the power of my own strength. Get out of here. You know what? Fuck you. You guys want to fight? Huh? You want to fight? Let me overdrive right now and I'll fight you. I... Fire up. Fire up. Yeah. 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 Yeah! Oh, look at the bulls are fighting the spiders now! Yes, I caused that. I caused that anarchy. <laughs> ah, suckers. Okay, let's continue. I love this game too much sometimes. The whole, like, the fact that you could trigger, like, you know, enemies towards other enemies is just so much fun to me. But sometimes, you know, they don't really um, fight too well against each other and just come after you together. That's when it's really bad. What the fuck is happening? Oh my god, I'm so I didn't mean to do it! I don't understand the power of my strength sometimes! You know what? I feel like our fire friend. <laughs> it's a little bit dangerous, isn't he? Just walking around? I should probably swap over to the regular golem. I mean, I don't mind the fact that you can set him on fire easily. It's cool, but man, I'm a hazard. I am a terrible fucking hazard. Okay, look, it seems like I'm hardening up now. Does this slow me down, maybe? I feel like this slows me down. Like, you know, it's like, like molten lava type shit with the water. Let me swap over to this guy. I feel like I'm a hazard in the moment. I'm trying to just get to my destination. There might be a chest here. Oh, it's not a chest, but it's a big fucking cocoon. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna steal from you. You continue sleeping, underground spider. This bush looks really different to me, and I'm I'm interesting about it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The regular bush? Oh, this is regular. Well, we're gonna need some, need some twigs down the line, so I might as well grab a few of these and go back to regular. Is that a fire hydrant? Man. There's so many weird stuff in this little world, I like it. Like, it's just a lot of variety, you know? Okay, we're here. We are here. Rocking like a hurricane. What time is it? Oh, it's about time for us to wrap it up. Uh, let me talk to... Uh, that might take a long... It might be a long dialogue. You know what? It's time for me to wrap it up. We'll come back next episode. We'll talk to our friend over here. I'm not sure which one this is, but he's part of the little rat mafia. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support us a lot, and again, as I mentioned, I went through the entire thing to get us back to this point, so um, I hope you guys are enjoying it, because I'm having a blast with it so far, and um, I will try to continue to leave for episodes. My birds are going crazy outside, you hear that shit? You haven't heard them in days, in ages now? They're out there, making all the noise in the world. I will catch you next time. Shut up, birds!